Final practice in Suzuka, and with the previous session curtailed by rain, teams were keen to get some running in early doors. Both Red Bulls had issues as the session got underway. My uh, mirrors are vibrating quite a bit. Understood. I'm traveling a lot in the low speed. The red in the low speed is quite good. Okay, let's keep up the pace and we'll box this lap. However, Checo kept at it and soon found his groove as did the defending champ. And it was the Dutchman with the best time of the day, clocking in at 1 minute 29.563, some two and a half tenths faster than his teammate. Lewis Hamilton had topped the timing tables for the first 45 minutes of the session. However, once the quali simulation started, Mercedes teammate George Russell leapfrogged him for P3. P4 for Hamilton, the seven-time champion, has won this race on five occasions. Only Michael Schumacher has won more here. Upgrades are plenty at Aston Martin, with both cars running the new spec in this session. Fernando Alonso, a two-time winner of the Japanese Grand Prix, was the best of the racing green team. Finishing a fine P5, with Lance Stroll down in 18th spot, unable to get a decent quality lap time in. A podium for the Spaniard this weekend would see him surpass Alain Prost for fourth on the all-time list, with 107 top three finishes. Oscar Piastri, who celebrates his birthday today, had a hairy moment at the second Degna. The Australian ragged over the kerbs and doing well to keep it pointed in the right direction. Not to be outdone, teammate Lando Norris did the same later in the session. P6 for the Briton and P8 for Piastri as the flag fell. McLaren have won the most Japanese Grand Prix of any team. Nine victories in the land of the rising sun for the Woking outfit. It was a relatively quiet session for Ferrari. With five minutes to go, they bolted on the red rubber, but never managed to challenge the top order, much to Charles Leclerc's annoyance. So we've got the checkered flag. Honestly, I, I don't get it. What are we doing to stay in the garage? Oh my God. We have a free three, we have two laps, two laps. Let's be on it, come on. Carlos Sainz managed P7, Leclerc P10. One place behind Yuki Tsunoda, who gave the home fans something to savour. The Japanese driver putting in a decent shift and rewarded with a P9 finish. Teammate Daniel Ricciardo had a spin exiting turn two. The Honey Badger forced into a pirouette on the grass as his RB went off piste. He finished P13. Both Haas drivers had issues early on as they got up to speed. Nico Hülkenberg with a lock up at turn three and teammate Kevin Magnussen finding the gravel at the turn 11 hairpin. Williams' woes continued. Alex Alvin just not feeling it on his initial runs. I just have a zero confidence in the car. And Logan Sargent also struggled to get to grips with his rebuilt FW46. I have no rear support, zero. Okay. So in qualifying just around the corner, it was a Red Bull 1-2 in final practice. Verstappen ahead of Perez, followed by Russell, Hamilton, Alonso, Norris, Sainz, Piastri, Sonoda and Leclerc. P11 for Albon and he was ahead of 2019 Japanese Grand Prix winner Valtteri Bottas. Then came Ricardo, Ocon, Joe, Hülkenberg, Gasly, Stroll, Sargent and Magnussen.